Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you've all been doing well. This is going to be an unboxing video of the new Xbox Series X controller or Series S or I guess there's no name in particular for this controller because both the Series S and Series X come with the same controller. But, you know, I was at my local Best Buy one day, saw this and uh, Impulse bought it because I, I really like the color of this controller. Um, and thought, you know what, I might as well upgrade for my older uh, Xbox One controller that I have. I actually have two controllers. This is the uh, first uh, Xbox One controller I bought. bought this way back in like 2014. Because, um, you know, I just was curious about it. I was going to use my Xbox 360 controller at that time. But then, you know, the Xbox One got released around then. And I'm like, yeah, I might as well upgrade to the newer controller. Um, but yeah, this was the first Xbox One controller that I owned. It's seen better days. And this is the one that uh, doesn't have the headphone jack on the bottom, uh, nor does it support Bluetooth, so you had to get uh, Microsoft's proprietary adapter for uh, the PC to use it, so I would mostly just use it wired with the micro USB on the top. And uh, this one, as you guys can see here, this one has its uh, thumbsticks kind of worn out. It's an easy fix. Apart from that, the controller still works. I planned on, you know, at some point getting some replacement th replacement thumbsticks from somewhere, but never got around to it. And then the second controller I bought, this one I bought probably in late 2018. Saw it on sale, and you know that was around the time the uh, other controllers' thumbsticks started wearing wearing out. So I'm like, it's on sale. This is the newer, updated one. Supports Bluetooth, Bluetooth, so I can use it wirelessly. Um, and it has the headphone jack as well, not that I ever used that, but the Bluetooth functionality of this controller was really nice, so that, that was good. And I did like this color as well. Still holding up well, thumbsticks are still intact. And yeah, the controller is great. But then, you know, the new Xbox consoles came out, and then of course they came out with the updated controller. Now, from what I know and from what I can tell, not a whole lot has changed with the new controller. They haven't really added any new revolutionary features or anything with it they just made some minor upgrades to it and then you know we'll see once we upgrade uh, open up the box for the controller so microsoft uh, you know takes this uh if it's not broken or if it's yeah if it's not broken don't fix it kind of approach which you know i can appreciate i've always been a fan of the xbox uh, 360 controllers love the xbox one controllers i think it's very uh very comfortable and um was never really a fan of the uh, PlayStation DualShock controllers. Just found it was kind of small. Uh, it would make my hands cr uh, kind of cramped up. Um, I did like the Pro Controller. I actually have one over here too. And, you know, obviously I like this controller too because it's very similar to the Xbox controller. So I like the design of it. Just wasn't a fan of the uh, swapped around placements. So that always confused me. But yeah, like I said, you know, I, I was at my local Best Buy the other day, saw this controller, I saw that color, and I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this color. So yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and uh, unbox this uh, bad boy and see what's, uh, what's inside, what's up with the controller. slides out like so and here we have it and then apart from that you get some uh, batteries some double-a batteries so that's convenient and then you've got uh, a manual and then you've got you got your uh, Xbox game pass uh, ultimate code over here uh, redeem for 14 days so hey whoever wants this it's up for grabs because I'm not going to be using it all right so taking a look at the controller itself first impressions it feels really nice um, immediately one of the first things I noticed is that the back of the controller it's textured around here where you uh, wrap your fingers around the handles so it, it gives you some nice grip oh and actually they've done the same with the uh, with the triggers too and that actually feels really really nice but uh you know apart from placing my hands on it or like a hand placement it feels very very similar to how the uh xbox one controller felt in my hands so you know that's great because i like i said i was already very content and satisfied with the 
Xbox One controller, so I'd, I'm, I'm happy that, you know, I wouldn't have to spend time getting used to this controller that much. But yeah, like I said, apart from that, not much has changed with this controller. You do have your, you know, your headphone jack and then your adapter, some kind of adapter attachment here. I don't know. I don't, I don't really game with an Xbox console, so I never really dive too much into the other accessories for the console. Uh, you got your thumbstick layout here. Love this color, by the way. It's called Shock Blue. Really, really stands out. Um, you know, you got your X, X, Y, B, A over here. You got your uh, menu button, start button, and then the new uh, included button, which is your direct share button. And then you got your Xbox button there. You got your uh, bumpers over here, triggers. And then you got the, the new updated D-pad. This is the other thing that they changed. Um, it's more tactile. It makes more di uh, bi-directional uh, pushes a lot more easier. Whereas you can see this one only has up, down, left, right. And uh, it's the same thing with this controller over here. So I'm actually happy they changed that. I'm, I'm pretty sure this was something that a lot of people had asked for. So I'm happy that they listened to the community in that regard. Um, I think the D-pad is very similar to the uh, one that's on the Xbox One Elite controller. So now that you get it on the regular controller, that's pretty nice. But yeah, apart from that, not much has changed with the controller. Same old design. Fits the same way in my hands. And um, gaming experience shouldn't be all that much different as well. Now you might be wondering why I didn't probably go for the new uh, PS5 DualSense controller. And that controller did look very intriguing. And the new tech that's built into it uh, also was very intriguing as well. With the you know, haptic uh, triggers, the tension triggers, and the haptic feedback. Uh, it is a lot more bigger too. And some people say it's a very, very comfortable controller. Even more comfortable than... Arguably, arguably more comfortable than this controller. I don't know, that's up for debate. I'd have to try that controller out for myself. But um, one of the reasons why I didn't go for that controller is because um, just natively, a lot of games support uh, Microsoft's controllers, whereas for the uh, DualSense or DualShock controllers, you'd have to do a lot of uh, configuring and uh, tinkering around with yourself, whether that's through Steam or you know downloading a program, a third-party program like DS for Windows. Which, you know, I just don't want to go through that whole hassle with. And apart from that, um, one of the other things I was curious about is that... Uh, I think the battery pack, the wireless battery pack, they haven't really changed that. I know you can buy the new updated one that comes with the USB-C controller. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. This one has the new Type-C port on it, which I'm super happy about because micro USB absolutely sucks. It's a garbage port, it's not durable, whereas USB-C is just a lot better reversible. So I'm happy to uh, finally use a USB-C cable to charge my controller. And speaking of, uh, that was the other thing I wanted to try, because in this controller I was using the uh, old Xbox One play and, charge, uh, play and Charge battery kit. So I was wondering if I'd be able to take this, if it's the same one, and put it in the new controller, which I think... You know, compartment-wise and connection-wise, it's the exact same. Yeah. Looks like it is the exact same. So I'm happy to see that. Let's see if it turns on. Hey, and it turns on. So that's cool. I, I can reuse my old... Uh, battery pack with the new controller and won't have to worry about uh, going out and buying a new one. So hey, good on Microsoft for keeping the same battery pack and not uh, having to force uh, users who already had controllers um, to go out and buy new accessories again. That would be total waste, total waste of resources, bad for the environment, <laughs> make you waste your money. So happy about that. But yeah, I guess that'll do it for this unboxing. Um, I don't know if you guys want me to make any sort of updated video about it. I don't, I doubt most of you guys care about that. I just mainly bought this controller out of curiosity, out of impulse, just saw the color. I was like, okay, I need, I need this color. I need this controller. <laughs> but yeah, apart from that, that'll do it for this unboxing. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought. Uh, leave your comments down below. Let me know.